Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fauna Hollow today? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, yeah, well, we'll be relaxing as a per usual. It's Sunday, Sunday, everybody can get down. Some, I, I don't know. What, what, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Who knows? Li life is existence. Existence is life. This is just things are as they seem um what am i talking about i have no idea okay sorry yes i'm, I'm losing the thread just a little bit as we um go on to this uh recording now because of course we'll be streaming a little bit later but anyway hello everyone right now in front hello it's 12 34 p.m on sunday july 28th 2024 um firework show yes of course um but yes um Recording now because I'll be streaming, of course, if you don't know, uh, from 2 to 5 later. Um, and I want to get this done now because I can get it done out the way. I want to do like a lot more drawing, but it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, you know, continuously draw for ages. Um, that sort of thing. We've only got a few more days left in July. Um, so I've got, let me think, like four days, including today. One, two, three, four. To finish off any. Actually, I'm not even sure if that's true because I'm not sure if our fight goes on. The full four days. Six days? Okay, I guess it got extended a little bit. Okay, fair enough. Maybe because of um, site downtime. Okay, well, I'm going to pretend it's four days. Um, <laughs> just to uh, at least hold myself to a bit of a stricter schedule. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, what should we talk about today? That's a, that's a great question. Uh, what am I going to be playing on stream today? I'm going to be playing Piku Niku, uh, which is a game I've had in my like library for ages and I was just like okay let's actually give it a shot um especially because death and taxes was amusing but also a bit of a macabre game I suppose Piki Nuka is very sort of like soft and fluffy I think and I think that's this may be what we do going forward is just to play uh one game for the entire stream um, instead of splitting it up into two I, I don't know if necessarily I'll keep doing that but it feels like it's it's, it's a bit difficult to try and like play for one hour and like get really into the game and then transition immediately to like another game within an hour but also at the same time, it's a bit of a lack of variety. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes for a little bit. Um, but yeah, Piki Nuku. Uh, I think it's like a puzzle platformer sort of thing. I'm not. I'm not really sure to be honest. But something along those lines. Um, but yeah, what, what's life been like so far? Played a, bit, a couple of games here and there. Played a bit more of a Genshin event. Not too much more, uh, mind you. Um, Hong Kong Star Rail. I don't think anything's happening in Star Rail. It's, it's the end of a patch, so everything's sort of like shutting down there's so many weeds in our inventory um and then the zone zero I, I i did start part of um the third act uh yesterday or the day before i, I don't remember so we're getting s somewhere slowly in that uh but we're not going to talk about that let's talk about what should we talk about i'm not sure was there a youtube video i'm watching i mean i'm watching um some D D esque videos right now like right now i'm part way through the dimension 21 uh brilliant uh, building your own campaign setting with matt mercer the adventuring academy uh because i was watching some of the actual dimension 20 campaigns i'm, I'm currently watching escape from the blood keep um but i haven't got very far in it i don't know and fantasy high it was just like um it was just like a whoa so good <laughs> not to say escape from blood keep isn't but i don't know having that big a change up it's like i need i need time to digest and relax on it and also, I don't know, like, I feel like, I'm not, I'm trying to think how to phrase this. I like doing multiple things at the same time. Uh, I, I think it tickles a part of my brain, which is like, yes, look how efficient I'm being. You know, I'm, I'm consuming a media prophecy, which I, I wanted to watch for ages, while also, you know, simultaneously doing something else. But some, my, my brain, which tries to, for some reason, maximize the efficiency out of everything I do, uh, is just like, yes, this is it. This is, this is the jam. I mean, it's why I started doing, like, my Neopets dailies and other things in the middle of Animal Crossing episodes. But I feel like that's a little bit silly. Um, that's kind of defeating the point at that point. Um, so I, I stopped doing that. Um, but, I mean, I mean, I do it sometimes. <laughs> Just not all the time. But at the same time, like, I can't bring myself to watch something, which is really weird. You know? And by... Like, there's, like, a mental block. No, okay, it's not actually a mental block. It doesn't actually stop me from doing things. But it's more like a mental dissuasion. Um... Where it's like, okay, you know, take this example. I want to draw. Uh, I've got something to draw. And uh, I was drawing that something. But it's like, I want to put something on while I'm drawing, you know? Um, but it's just like, the things I want to watch and put on while drawing are not mind necessarily mindless enough that I can't, that I can just keep them on and not 
pay attention to them. So I need to find like a media property or something which I can put on my background and it's just like, oh, I don't even need to think about it and just like switch my brain off. And I thought Dimension 20 would sort of be that, but then like, as it turned out with Fantasy High, I started getting really invested in it. So I was just like, oh, I had to like stop drawing to be like, what is going on right, right this instant? Uh, right this instant. So, you know, I'm not sure if, I don't know. Like, uh, I guess maybe drawing is too intensive uh, an activity to not also have my brain power somewhere else. So, you know, it's probably why it's just like, I don't know, listen to music or something is the more reasonable solution, but it's like, I don't know. I need something like that. This is probably why people like reality TV, you know, in that sort of sense. TV, which you don't have to think about. You just switch your brain off and it's just there. I have nothing against that, by the way. I, I need that equivalent for me. And it used to be Northern Nine stuff, but now I'm just like, I don't know. I haven't really been watching a lot of Northern Nine recently. Watching a bit of like Library of Laterno, like highlights here and there, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm going through like a, a media fatigue almost. I watched media fatigue where it's just like, hmm, I need to find out something uh, je ne sais quoi. Maybe it's because uh, Dimension 20 Fancy High was just like so good. I'm sort of just like coming down off that high after, you know, after you like finish like a really good story or a video game or a book or movie and you're just like, wow, I got to like sit here and like reflect upon it. Like that, it's the only thing on my mind where it's like, oh, you know, I want to like consume more of it, which I can do. There are like sequel series where I'm just like, okay, you know. I'm also being reasonable about it. I'm not gonna like binge the entire thing like back to back to back, you know, just like change up the, the palette a little bit part way through and do something else. Um, unsurprisingly, a lot of my things are sort of being D&D related because D&D is consuming more of my life. People are like getting into it. So I'm just like, okay, I'll put the same sort of effort in as well to make sure that the campaign can also be good fun as well. Taking insp inspiration and ideas from other places. Exactly, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I need like something je ne sais quoi right now. I think maybe it is Norman Nine. I'm just like, I, I just need to find the right sort of series because he's not really like doing series right now. He's kind of just like playing um, these one-off games. And I guess, I don't know what he's been playing recently, to be honest, I haven't even looked at his Twitch. I've only like found out from Library of Turner and it's just been like, ah, you know, I've just not been super into it. You know, I need like another like contradiction or something from him. What's he been playing recently? Because as much like, you know, I'm not saying that he should be playing what I want him to play, that's obviously insanity. Entertainment is entertainment uh, at the end of the day, and you know, people should have a freedom to choose what they want to do. Um, Jackbox Party Pack, he was doing like speed running. Lethal Company is kind of like fun. I don't know. I guess what I want is I want something with a through line. Like a, a story, like an arc or something like that, rather than like an episodic thing. But the thing is, every, like, okay, I, I I think I've cracked my issue with myself, is that I like things to have a story, I like things to go through, I don't, I don't tend to like episodic um, shows too much, I like things which have consistency and, like, character development, etc, etc, totally fine, there's, there's nothing wrong with preferring one way or the other, uh, but the thing is, that thing tends to require concentration, because then you kind of got to, like, follow the plot at the same time, but it's not something which I necessarily, like, switch my brain off to. Is there such a thing as an episodic, not an episodic, serial? show which you can just switch your brain off to probably almost certainly but the thing is then there's that like a certain other x factor as well which is just like a, oh do i actually want to feel do i feel like watching this or something i don't know but basically i'm just like i want the perfect solution and i want it uh given to me immediately and i don't have to like even try for it uh which is obviously not a thing <laughs> and I, I understand the irony within not the irony you know i understand the um entitlement within that sort of like demand but at the same time you know I don't mean to be a bit selfish I know why can't I want something like that so I don't know I mean this is probably the opportunity to re-watch something you know because that's the sort of thing which I think ticks the boxes you know it, it, I can watch I can choose specifically a serial content it's a re-watch so I already know kind of what happens so I don't need to concentrate as much or paying um, to pay attention to it and it's also something that I know I can choose something which I know I liked I don't know what would that be I'm not I'm not really sure to be honest genuinely not sure I feel like I just want to play games like uh, and so the things I want to do it's like are all like they're, they're all active things like oh yeah I want to play the new Genshin stuff I want to finish the Zenison uh, Zone Zero story I want to like check out more of those game modes and stuff like that but I'm like these are all active things 
I can't do these at the same time as I'm drawing. I need something at the same time I'm drawing, which is not possible. <laughs> I mean, the thing which is possible, I guess, is talking to my friends, which is like, obviously, yeah, I can do that. I don't mean that it's like a, oh, screw my friends sort of thing. <laughs> but it's like a, sometimes I want to be, you know, do something by myself, you know? Sometimes I'm in my own mind. I, that's why I'm just like, I wish... When, when I was younger, I, I'm sure the, the superpower I wished for most is shape-shifting. Um, perhaps in a surprise, that's a very common one. Um, but, because, uh, I mean, in my mind, shape-shifting is the ultimate versatility tool. I uh, versatility is good. I want to do everything. Let me shape-shift. Now I can do, not literally everything. Um, am I someone who likes to specialise exactly in one thing and be the absolute best in it? Yes, at the same time, I also want to do everything. So I guess I want to specialise in people best in everything, which is not... Uh, obviously, okay, I'm being facetious there. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I was taking a bit, but I was spinning it and it got out of control. Let's, like, abandon it there. Um, but, like, I feel like, in practical terms, shapeshifting, cool power, amazing, wonderful, fantastic. Better power for probably something that would actually suit me better is, like, duplication. Like, I can, like, split myself up into multiple me's. I'm thinking of that American Dragon episode where you get all these m multiple different, like... Um, Jake Long's or whatever his name was. Um, split myself up and everyone else can do a separate thing, you know, like, oh, I'm here. I, I can be on my phone. I can be playing like a, a, a new Genshin, Zen, Zen Zero sort of games, that sort of thing. One of them can be on my computer doing a drawing tablet and that sort of thing. One of them can bust out the laptop and start like thinking about D&D, &D, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't know. And then we could also have like on the other screen, just like watching, like one of them actively watching like a media property I want to consume. And then, you know, at the end of the day, we all reconvene together. And it's like I've lived four lifetimes and four, four, four days in one day fantastic beautiful that'd be amazing if that could happen <laughs> it's, it's sort of thing like if you were given sorry it was like a, a hard swerve for like superpower but like practical superpowers like it's a thing where it's like if you had a superpower what would it be you know some people would be like flying some people are like oh like pyrokinesis and stuff like that i feel like there needs to be a distinction because it's like it depends on the world i'm going into am i going into a world where everyone gets superpowers am i going into like my hero academia or like marvel cinematic universe i don't can't think about any other universes where people have powers if it's like powers of a norm what power would i want like i don't know and slowly, but maybe at that point i'd use shape-shifting because it's sort of like a good flexibility and that sort of thing or maybe i'd want something more fun more like me defining like some sort of like reality reshaping superpower um and you might be like you'd probably you know that, that's sort of like a very dangerous superpower and i'm like i know but at the same time you know be the main character of a story right um or am i going into the world i am living in right now just i have a superpower in which case i want a more subtle one shape-shifting is kind of cool but like it's not something you can do really that often um like it, it depends on shape-shifting if you're like beast boy you can do animal shape-shifting you know okay like maybe if i want to like commute to work i can like travel like turn into a bird and fly and, and then i'll be like oh but like i need to bring like my supplies and stuff like that what, what did, how am i going to do that and it's like is it even much fly faster flying as a bird compared to like taking the train and it's like that's a lot of energy as well you've got to like think about all these sort of um things like that um and obviously you can you know, if you're living in this world, I'm going to be honest, if I had a superpower, that's not something I want to sort of actively advertise. Um, that seems like something that would put me on very high on the dangerous list. If everyone had superpowers, you know, everyone supers, no one's super. In the infamous words of Buddy from Incredibles uh, or Syndrome. Um, spoilers, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, so something so overt is something which, you, you know, you don't want to have happened but duplication i mean that's also quite an overt one but you know you could very much easily get around that i mean like if you just like lived by yourself or something like who's going to find out that you have duplication powers like and your other duplicates can just kind of hide or like oh someone's coming like quick merge together the only thing which like becomes as a caveat of that is like wow did darling you like learn things like super quickly how do you have enough time to do all this stuff and then i could just be like oh you know i i use that what's it einstein sleeping method where you sleep like two hours a day or something or i'm just like really efficient at planning it doesn't have to be true um or like you get someone like mind reading or something right um certainly uh, like like you you'd want a superpower which is much more subtle to hide like you, you wouldn't want pyrokinesis necessarily because it's like what are you going to do you're going to go out and like you know you're going to go to burning man i guess and like you can be a, a rave party sure but like it's not very practical in a day-to-day -day basis i guess you would make an amazing firefighter though i didn't really think about that pyrokinesis you can sort of like control all the flames 
like swirl them all up in like a corner, like ball them up and like whoosh, put them out. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But that's very sort of like a vert thing. We'd be like, wow, that firefighter walked in and it was always like the fire like disappeared around them. <laughs> anyway, so the, the, the long and short of it is like practical, subtle superpowers. That's kind of like a, it's kind of like a thing. Like what would mine be? This, this, this duplication one. I don't even know if that's that subtle. Maybe, I, I feel like I'm being contradictory here. That's probably not a very subtle superpower, right? <laughs> to be able to dupe, like clone yourself. I, I always think about it like, um, think of it in the context of like the skullduggery one where it's like you can pull your reflection out of the mirror but if you do it too many times your like reflection starts to gain like a personality or something and become their own have their own independent thoughts this is a thing right hold on skullduggery pleasant also how many books are there now what's the latest installment of skullduggery pleasant books there's a graphic novel cool the faceless one's trilogy Dead, uh, Skullduggery Present, yeah. Playing a Fire, I remember, I think. Faceless Ones, I vaguely remember. Dark Days. And M Mortal Coil, I think, is the last one I read. Deathbringer, I don't remember. Kingdom of Wicked, Last Stand of Dead Men. Dying of a Light. Resurrection. Midnight. Bedlam. Seasons of War, Dead or Alive. Until the End. The new trilogy? There's a new trilogy? When was this released? 2024, March. Wait, hold on, when was this released? Damn, I didn't know it was still going. Um. Yeah, I don't, honestly, I've, I've got no clue. I wonder what happened to half these characters. I know, hold on. Skullduggery Pleasant. Um, I was gonna look up what happened to a character. Oh, like, Val Valkyrie, not girlfriend, reflection. Stephanie, Valkyrie Kane's reflection. It was known to have developed human feelings after it died. Yeah, because they like shot a reflection to pretend to like kill Valkyrie or something. Like, does she become an actual person? <laughs> I don't understand what is going on in this thing anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close this. Anyway, these are not the Skullduggery book covers I know. These are called different. Anyway, I want to pull my reflection out of the mirror. And then they can pull their own reflection out. I don't know. I just need something in my, I don't know what I'm gonna title this episode. I guess I'll find out. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to wrap this episode off here. I've lost the plot. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>